It's Monday evening, I've been to work already, I've been grocery shopping, I just made myself some avocado toast for dinner, so that's what I'm gonna have. It's been a while since I did like a week in my life sort of vlog thing. Today is October 31st, tomorrow is a new month, November 1st, and I'm quite excited about it. I have a few goals for November, I'm excited about having a more chill month because October was quite busy, I traveled a bit, which was lovely, but just a lot. So I feel like I've let myself go with some of my routines and stuff, so I hope that in November I can focus more on the things I want to do. Uh, like I want to read a bunch, I'm very excited about the books I'm currently reading. I have like butter reads, I have a themed blog, a bunch of things. I want to continue to work out because I'm doing a race together with my office in December, so I need to start running and stuff. <laughs> November is not a Remo, National Novel Writing Month. I've never participated, but for some reason I put it as a, one of my New Year's resolutions that I was gonna participate in on a Remo. The thing is, I don't even have an idea. I have like slight ideas, but I definitely have not developed or drafted anything. I want to do non Remo, but for me I'm more gonna have a goal of trying to work on a novel or an idea every day. I won't have a set number of words, I don't have like any goals like that, I don't, I barely expect to do any writing if I'm honest, but I want to work on a novel every day in November. So that's gonna be my goal. That's my type of non-remo, I guess. I have nothing, <laughs> but it will be fun. I also hope to play more on my keyboard in November, like actually do try and practice that. Uh, and yeah, just make sure that my apartment stays nice and clean. So I'm very excited about November and I'm very excited that you will follow me at the start of this month. So hopefully you will enjoy that. But now I'm gonna eat and watch some TV. See you soon. Okay, so I have ironed some clothes and while I did that, I was watching Merlin. I started watching Merlin like the TV show last week and I'm currently on season two already. It's great, it's so cozy. It's like one of those shows I can have on in the background, not really focus on. I feel like Merlin is f following the blueprint of your typical YA fantasy show from back in the day. And it's amazing and I enjoy it so much and it's very wholesome and very cute and cozy and yeah. Like I'm not like intensely watching it, but I'm definitely enjoying it. But now I'm going to read. I'm reading The Paul Bearers Club. I'm only like 30 pages in, but I'm really, really enjoying it. And I made it very cozy in my apartment. I've lit a bunch of candles and turned on like my smaller lights and stuff. So I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna read. So it's just begun.
bed. I'm gonna continue to read a bit before. I'm enjoying this. I'm hoping to get to at least 100 pages tonight. Should be doable, unless I fall asleep, which happened last night. Uh, tomorrow, I feel it's gonna be quite busy. I'm, of course, going to the office. I need to work. And I'm thinking that after work, I will go to the gym and work out. I have not worked out for... Oof, three weeks, something like that. And then once I get home, I need to do food prep, like lunch boxes for the rest of the week. And I think after that, I will either continue to read or I actually do need to edit my Edinburgh vlog. I don't want to stress my travel vlogs though, because I want to give them time and play around with new editing features and stuff. But yeah, busy day tomorrow, but uh, I feel I'm getting back into the rhythm of things. New day, new month, new plans and goals. Working out after work, need the food prep. But then I also hope to start my Nano Remo project. I hope to read a bit and also, what more? Play the piano, because why not? Busy day, hopefully, but hopefully a productive day as well. We're gonna have to see. Hi, <laughs> I've worked, I've been to the gym, I've done my food prep for the rest of the week. I've eaten dinner. Now I'm gonna jump in the shower. And after that, I'm gonna start on my Nano Remo thing. I feel like I should have daily goals, but since I don't even know my story, I can't really have a goal. So I think goal for the evening will be to put my idea on paper. <laughs> Brainstorm, basically. Okay, I feel like I look only the slightest bit insane. I starting doing Nano Remos like prep 101 thing so there are like four sessions for how to get ideas uh, build characters build your world and so on so i've done like half of that workbook and it was pretty great actually i got a bunch of ideas i have two ideas i have one that i started to think of quite recently actually it's very abstract basically i know the concept of it i know what I would like to do with that story, but I have no details, no plot points. There is a second idea. And I keep being reminded of this now that I've started to think of ideas and writing and stuff, because this is something I started to develop, oh, I don't know how long ago. Could it be five years ago? Something like that? This is like an idea I had way back when. Like I have written scenes, I have a bunch of plot points already. I know the three main characters. Kind, I'm not clear on the conflict yet, but I know like the start and the end. And I keep remembering this one when I'm planning on a Remo. So I'm thinking, should I go with that idea just to see where it can take me actually, if, if I have something there or not. I'm also gonna read the first chapter of Priory of Dorian's Tree because it's November 1st and I want to start this body read. I don't even know how long the first chapter is. Let's have a look. Okay, it's like 10 pages. I should be able to do 10 pages. I just want to start this one, so I've started it. It's Wednesday. I will soon be heading to work. I filmed a video, so hopefully I can edit it tonight and put it up tomorrow. I'm going to the cinema tonight with my mom, so that would be very cozy. We're seeing Ticket to Paradise. I did read the first chapter of Priory last night. Don't remember a thing. I kind of fell asleep when reading it as well. Not to blame the book. I am pretty happy with the reading progress I did yesterday, actually. I didn't read Paul Berry's Club yesterday, but I did read The Living, which is the book I have on my Kobo, my e-reader. So I did read a bit more in that one. And also I listened to majority, I would say, of Act Your Age, Eve Brown. I'm not a fan of the Brown Sisters trilogy. I found the start of the book to be quite boring, and I do have pretty low expectations now because I have not really enjoyed Chloe Brown or Danny Brown, but it's definitely getting better. Um, the smut was good. The smut was really good. I'm getting to a part of it that I'm actually enjoying, so that is good, but it was very boring at first, I must say. I'm gonna read for like two minutes now, and then I need to head to work. Okay, y'all, today's to do. I need to do the dishes once I get home after the cinema. I want to read. I want to decide which story to write for Nono Remo. Hello. 
I've been to the cinema, I saw Ticket to Ride with my mom, I really liked it, it was very sweet and cozy and fun and just easy. Like sometimes humor is more like slapsticky and like if you're watching a romantic comedy or something it's it's very heavy on the comedy. This one was just like easy going, it felt natural, it felt nice and I really liked it. So I had a great time. Now I'm home, I just edited the video that I filmed this morning, yay being productive, because what I really want to do is actually read. I should do the dishes as well. I'll do that tomorrow, <laughs> I can't be bothered. The days aren't long enough for me to do all of the things I want to do. Like I also, I'm planning a dinner suddenly for Friday and I need to like buy groceries for that. I don't have time to buy groceries before that. So I have no clue what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit down, just a tad bit, do some non remo I think I decided which I need to go with. I want to try and give the one that already have developed scenes. I want to give that a go, see what I can do with it. Then I'm just gonna get ready for bed and then read because I really want to continue with Paul Berry's Club actually. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be her And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double life Good morning I realized that it's Saturday and I did not film anything yesterday. I don't think I filmed anything Thursday either, but that is fine. The days have been busy. Thursday we had game night at my office. So we usually play like board games once a month or something like that. So we did that. It was very nice. We played Robot Rally. I won. And yesterday I had friends over for dinner and drinks. And that went quite well as well. So it's a slow morning. I have put in the first load into the dishwasher, I'm having breakfast, trying to catch up on life and feeling well, although I don't feel that bad to be honest. Today is fortunately a very slow Saturday and I'm so excited about it. I think I'm gonna head out and buy some new plants actually because I see a few that are dying and it breaks my heart. Like I'm trying to have a type of plant in my bookshelf and they don't, they really don't like it there. And I'm gonna buy some like small plants as well because I do have some smaller pots and stuff. I hope to finish my book today, Paul Berry's Club. I'm about halfway, but if I really go for it, have a slow day, I will be able to finish it. Non Remo, haven't worked on that for Wednesday, Thursday, or yesterday, mainly because haven't had time. Gotten home late. <laughs> is a mess i'm a mess that is fine we can deal it's sunday and i'm working i felt like i wanted to catch up on a few things so that i can say on monday that i've done the things that i otherwise would not have time to do this coming week so that is good here you can see my new palm hopefully hopefully it will stay alive there we're gonna have to see i'm hoping to finish this freaking book i want to finish a book at least Earlier today, I finished Come Closer by Sarah Graham. Graham, Sarah Graham. It's a very short horror fiction about this woman who starts to believe that she's getting possessed by a demon. It's really good. I listened to it as an audiobook. I like it. I did enjoy it. It was very interesting. Yeah, it was cool to follow 
her downfall, basically. So I do recommend it if you're looking for a short horror book. Now I'm gonna continue to read The Paul Bearers Club, hopefully finish it, and then we'll see. Perhaps I should edit a video. I'm not posting a video today, unfortunately, even though it's Sunday. Hi, it's Monday morning. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I started this beast. I've only read about 25 pages or so. It's not a lot, but I've started it. I am confused, mainly because there are so many characters and like the world is being introduced and all of that. But I do like the writing so far. I'm a fan of the writing at the moment, so that is promising. Hopefully I will continue with this this week. I'll probably pick up another one of my vampire books actually and read it in parallel or something. That's it for this vlog, I guess. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, thank you so much for watching and goodbye! You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes.